Hey everybody, I got a lot done on the electric motorcycle yesterday. We got to go test it out, run around the parking lot. Just a couple things left to do on it. One is to make a chain guard, and I've got some scrap plexiglass here that I should be able to do something with there. Um, I also noticed that the return spring for the rear brake actually attaches to the muffler, which I don't have anymore, but it's just off the passenger peg back here. So I got my passenger peg, and I'm going to make some sort of a little custom bracket for that spring. The other thing is when I was tightening down the batteries yesterday, I snapped a weld on my battery tie-down. So I'm going to have to take the tank and the top two batteries off to get that bracket out and re-weld that. I'm not looking forward to that one, but hey, I'm going to learn how to weld better by doing this. So that's what I'm doing here today. There we go. One custom bracket. Took a piece of metal, drilled a hole through it, put a quarter 20 bolt through it, welded that on, ground off the head. So now I got a spot for my... Uh, brake return spring to go onto. Yay, rear brakes. Well, there's my re-weld. I had to take half the motorcycle apart to be able to do that, so let's hope it holds this time. I did smack it with a hammer and it seems good. I think I'm starting to get to be a little bit better welder, so here goes. While the paint's drying on that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a chain guard because down here, that chain and sprocket are exposed where fingers and toes can easily get in there, and we do not want that. Now on a standard motorcycle from the factory, that already comes covered on the transmission. We don't have a transmission on this anymore, so we have to build some sort of a chain guard. Now I do have some scrap plexiglass kicking around. This was uh, some sort of a large computer printer cover at one point, and I would like to make the guard out of plexiglass just so you can see the chain, you can see how everything works. But how do I attach that? To what I've got to work with here and one thing I found in the scrap pile was some aluminum this is already black so it matches the rest of the frame of the motorcycle um, it's sort of a C channel it already has threaded holes down the side so I'm thinking if I cut a short piece of this off I can basically put it in there like that it's gonna cover up the battery here so I'm not gonna get any spatter from the chain onto the battery and then I'll be able to come straight off that with the plexiglass to make a cover So here what I've done is drilled two holes and put a pair of quarter 20 bolts through them. And then I drilled out a couple of these holes to make them quarter 20. And then in theory, this fits right on there. I like CAD, which of course stands for Cardboard Aided Design. So if you, for example, take an old pizza box, you got a marker and a razor knife, it makes it really easy to uh, mock up and figure out what size you actually need. Trim off the extra, mark what to keep, uh, mark any critical dimensions, and now I can make this out of plexiglass. So this here is the weld that failed before. So I uh, ground it down, re-welded it, repainted it, and this time it's gonna stay for sure. I really mean it this time. Well, the motorcycle's pretty much done, and I'm really glad because tomorrow I have to be up at the MREA Energy Fair by 8 p.m. It's a big three-day weekend event. So Energy Fair, here we come.